racial equality? Well, I think we need to, you know, so many things are going on today, and I, I hate to see history continue to repeat itself, and it is still happening um, uh, on a different level. I remember Emmett Till. That, that murder of Emmett Till uh, is, is still resonates in my mind. Uh, Rosa Parks standing up for herself um, during the Montgomery bus boycott. They brought that on. Those sort of things were very uh, real to me. And to these young people today, the, the death of Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown are, are, will be real to them and they will remember that. Um, they also need to take that, and I have a lot of confidence in our young people today of what is right and wrong, that they will hopefully right these wrongs as they become adults and be more open-minded and be able to come to a table to the fact that we can disagree on something without confrontation. Agree to disagree, mm -hmm. but try to learn from each other. And I think we need to do that. We need to also expose ourselves to other people that don't look like us as much as possible. We live in a global society today, and you need to be prepared to work in that global society. And one of the things I like to encourage you to do is to take a second language because of this global society. You can't uh, blame someone else for getting that particular job if you are not prepared to take that job. When I came along, we were number one in the country, in the world, I should say, as far as graduating kids from college. We were number one in education. Do you know we are number 16th in the world today? I don't like not being number one. I'm an American, and we should be number yeah. one. Brad Peck and the WASA staff here who um, housed us today. 